News 4 Jax and Consumer Reports, working together to save your family money. We were certainly talking about this earlier. There are still about two months left in hurricane season, and October has seen several powerful storms the last few years. Some may be thinking about buying a generator in case the power goes out. Yeah, you want to be prepared either way. While a whole house model can be very expensive, consumer investigator Lauren Verno found out from Consumer Reports there's a less pricey option to keep the essentials up and running. We have it plugged in here. The cord's long enough. We just wheel the generator itself to outside. Kelly Stoll and her husband had two small children when she moved to a lake community that had lost power for nearly two weeks during Hurricane Sandy. They wanted their portable generator to power their essentials during an outage. The refrigerators, um, the TV, the coffee maker. <laughs> But they didn't want to run lots of cords through open doors. Installing a transfer switch allowed them to safely power much of their home. A transfer switch is like a mini circuit breaker panel that allows you to draw electricity from your generator instead of from the power company. An electrician can easily install it next to your breaker panel and you pick what circuits you want to run through it. On its own, a generator powers units that use a standard plug, but the transfer switch can power anything that's hardwired into a circuit panel. Anything requiring a 220 or 2040 volt plug, like a dryer or an electric range. Consumer Reports says to keep in mind that the generator must be at least 5,000 watts to easily connect to a transfer switch and to handle the load of several appliances. You want to make sure to get a generator that's large enough to power all your essentials, but still the smallest model you can get away with because you'll save a lot on gas. Plan to spend between $200 to $400 for an electrician to install the switch, plus upwards of $300 for parts. You'll lose some of the convenience of a transfer switch, but save hundreds on parts using an interlock device installed directly on your circuit panel. When the power goes out, you flip off the main switch with power from the street, slide this little interlock device up and flip on this circuit breaker, which allows the generator to power any of these circuits here on the main panel. Having a safe way to power your home helps you feel safe. Consumer Report says it is very important to avoid exposure to deadly carbon monoxide by keeping these three things in mind. Never run a generator in an enclosed space. Always place it at least 20 feet from your home and always direct the exhaust from the generator away from the house. I'm consumer investigator Lauren Verno, Channel 4, The Local Station.